Alrighty, alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a minute since I've said that, been about a month since my last video, I apologize for that. In this video, I'm heading up north right now, uh, it's like in the middle of the day and I just got stuck in traffic and picked up a ho hopefully enough food to last me the next couple days. Got about a two hour drive. It's gonna be getting dark as I get there. Got a really delicious dinner planned and I'm really excited about it. So it should be a fun couple days up north. I gotta get gas and then I'm gonna get on up there. And yeah, let's get into this video. I'll catch you guys on the road. Let's do it, I'm really excited about it. We're getting to that late winter, early spring kind of weather in here in early March, although we really haven't had much of a winter at all <laughs> this year. We've had the warmest winter in Michigan history this year. We really only had about two weeks of actual cold and snowy weather, so kind of ruined all my ice fishing and winter camping videos, so kind of threw a wrench in a lot of those plans, but that's all right. It allows me just to be able to get up here north and do a lot more comfortable camping and just, just kind of get out and enjoy it. It's a lot more, more, more mild temperatures and... Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Just, but yeah, I'm just gonna kind of hike around a little bit and check out this spot and see what it all has to offer. All right, so I'm exploring around a little bit and just looked how nice and cleared out this whole area is. Got the truck camper back over there. It's about probably a mile or two. I just done this little two track all the way back here in the woods. And this is all national forest, all free camping. Really, really neat. And there's just all over the place up here. Just perfect truck camping. But here is this nice little cliff and view right down here. You can see the, there's one little creek down here and I can hear there's a much bigger creek just over those trees over there. I'm gonna kind of walk around and see if you might be able to see it at all. Yep, there's a creek, and I can actually hear it from up here, so it should be a really peaceful night listening to the creek all night. You can see not much green coming out yet. Got a lot of the little wintergreen plants. Those always come out real early. No ferns or anything yet. Besides the pine trees, which there's luckily a lot of those around here, it's a lot of brown still. Still very early in the year. All right, guys, making my way down to the creek. I'm gonna check it out real quick. I haven't seen this creek in a, oh, almost two years, so. Oh, goodness, don't fall. <laughs> Sweet little bridge, and here's the creek. It's like the perfect size for a good stream. I just I love that noise. I fall asleep to that easily, but it's beautiful. Some good little pockets and holes. There are trout in here, but it's not trout season yet, so I'm probably not gonna be fishing this creek. Alrighty guys, just made it back from our quick little hike in the woods and it's getting dark fast. We do have light until about 6.37 ish now, which is really nice. And it's a little after six now, so I think I need to start getting some stuff together and start getting dinner going. Let's do it. Get my drawer opened up and hopping up here to the cooler and I will show you guys what I'm gonna be making up for dinner tonight. Bags of spices, some butter. Got some green onions and a half a pound of ground beef. And I'm gonna hop into here, open up my drawer. It's a bit of a mess, so just try to ignore that. And then I got some five minute rice, which is really old, but I think I got this like, gosh, like a year and a half ago or something, but I think it's still good to eat. So I got that and I got a couple other things. 
couple other ingredients organized. And tonight I'm going to be making, it is called the Korean beef bowl. So my mom actually made this about a week ago and it was super good and she said it was really simple to make and I thought it'd be a great camping meal to make. And so shout out to her. I'm gonna make it up, it's some rice and then it's like a like this little soy sauce, spices and burger on top of it. So it should be nice and simple. All right, the propane going. this going all right guys water just about boiling should be done in five minutes or so all right I put the lid on that and set that right there for now and now we got to quickly cook up the beef grab this guy and my cutting board All right, take a pound of burger and just throw that guy in there. All right, so first thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce or so. It's, this is for a couple servings. This was a size of cup, so I'm gonna just do a quarter cup, roughly. Not sure how much it's gonna be, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I like to do these meals so it's nice and easy and when the truck camper I don't have to buy a whole bunch of random different spices. I just put all the spices I need and my meal at home, I put a nice little bag all together and I can just dump it all in nice and easy, have the meal already practically pre-prepped. And in this bag of spices, I've got mostly brown sugar. I got powdered ginger, powdered garlic, some red pepper flakes. We're just gonna go ahead and dump this guy in there. Got this whole bag of everything in there and go ahead and just dump that all in. Dude, that is smelling absolutely phenomenal. Pop out my chef's knife, and then we're gonna cut all these up. Smells amazing. This is pretty sweet, dude. Boy, does it feel good to be back out here again. Out in the woods. <laughs> Dump all of our beef in there. All right, gonna sprinkle all of my green onions, my green onions on there on the top. Just give it a little bit of freshness and a little more kick flavor. All right, then last but not least, kind of for looks, but also to add some crunch, got some little sesame seeds you're gonna sprinkle in there. I'm gonna throw on this lid, throw that guy in there, and clean up, do the dishes, get all my camera gear thrown away, hop in the back for the night. Let's do it. All right, now I can get in for the night. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, there we go. All right, into the truck camp for the night. I always want to eat my meal nice and hot and fresh when I cook it, but it always feels so much better, especially when it's getting dark. If I just take the time, get the dishes done, everything cleaned up, and then in there, I can just chillax for the night. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so hungry. This is gonna, this is gonna about to hit different, I think. Picked up an Arizona mango tea, bring me back to my, when I was in Arizona, I drank those a bunch out there, but uh, here we go. Korean beef bowl, I believe it's called. Let's give this a go, see how it turned out. Yep, that's phenomenal. <laughs> oh, I think I did it pretty well. That all just comes together for a really simple, really delicious camping meal. Mm. This is now, this is definitely now going near the top of my 
camping meals list, my truck camping meals list. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. The first night in a very long time I've been in the back of the truck camper without having to have a coat on back here. It is E5, maybe, I don't know, mid high 40s in here right now. So yeah, I'm gonna get kind of situated here for bed and just kind of relax, catch you guys in a bit. Just got some warmer layers on and hop into the, hop into bed for the night. Really amazing dinner, really fun day, and it's really nice just to get up here into the woods. It's kind of crazy, like just a few hours drive. I can just be stuck in a traffic jam and <laughs> a million people around me, and then just two hours later, I'm up here in the woods, and I just I haven't seen a sign of a person this all night. We're just so peaceful and quiet up here. Got a whole just a whole bunch of free this whole free campsite myself in the woods overlooking a creek this time this time of year i'm always really hesitant to get out and camp and really do much of anything outside just because my march and april just kind of stink especially in a year like this when two months of basically just rain clouds and muddy weather and everything is just brown no no hardly any life coming out yet so it's just kind of a depressing time of year and it's always i don't know it's easy to just want to kind of stay home and stay in the comfort of home and not really go outside and you just, it's just easy to get kind of complacent so I kind of have to this time of year I have to kind of force myself out to go on these trips and it's hard to leave but once I'm out here I'm really happy once I get really happy once I get out here and this is exactly the trip I need just to get away and back in the truck camper back in the woods even though it is definitely not the most my definitely not my favorite and definitely not the most glamorous time of year but one of the major, major pros of camping this time of year is, I mean, the total lack of people. There's just absolutely no one out this time of year, which is really, really nice compared to the summer. And there's no bugs, no bugs, not really any humidity yet. And that's about all I got for tonight, guys. I will catch you guys in the morning. Hopefully it's a nice, peaceful night. Good night. Oh, I slept in a bit, and I slept amazing last night. Perfect temperature all night. Stayed nice and toasty warm. It was, I think the lowest it got, it's about like 37 degrees right now, so it got down to like 34, 35 degrees. But compared to what I had been sleeping in, that was pretty nice temperature, so. Nothing better than waking up right in the trees in the morning, right in the woods. Peaceful night, listening to the creek and the birds this morning. No sign of any people. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, got the drawer all pulled out. Gonna get some breakfast going. Probably just gonna do something pretty simple, just to avoid dishes until I can pick up some more clean supplies for those. All right, guys, got everything cleaned up, finished up breakfast. I'm gonna go for a quick hike down to the creek and then get on out of here.
Well, alrighty guys, so I spent some time down at the creek, just kind of taking in the scenery. That was really nice. And now I'm heading out of here. It's almost noon right now. I'm gonna head to a little store and pick up some propane that I forgot yesterday. And I gotta pick up something that I can do the dishes with so I can get those done. I also gotta pick up something for dinner tonight. And then I think I'm gonna go, I found a lake. I think I'm gonna go do a little bit of fishing. So that should be really fun. And yeah, catch you up with you guys in a bit. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I just made it to the lake um, I found online, and it sounds like this lake's got some pretty good-sized bluegill and bass. I would really love to catch some bluegill to catch up to eat, so let's do a little bit of bobber fishing, head down to the lake and check it out, see if I can't catch anything, get you guys down there. Let me get it down to the lake. We're just going to give it a go. Just got a little bobber set up. A little pink jig, a little chunk of night crawler on there. I'm just going to lob it out there as far as I can. I didn't bring any bass gear for one, so I'm just going to try to... It sounded fun just to try to catch some big bluegill. I haven't done that in a while, and just to get a little action. And I don't have anything planned for dinner, so I'd be really happy to get some bluegill I could cook up and fry up for dinner. But we'll see what happens. This time of year, bluegill can be real finicky. They're going to be out deep, going to be moving around, and all schooled up. So I'm probably just going to cover a lot of water as much as I can and see if I can find them anywhere. But man, I haven't done any fishing on this channel in a long time, so I'm hoping to do a lot more. Like, I haven't even done it in a video in forever, but I'm hoping to do a lot more of this here, hopefully. All right, guys, so I actually just threw on my waders. And probably a mistake, because these things do leak pretty bad. I put on the waders. I'm determined to not get skunked. Let's give that a go. I'm putting in the work now. I'm really trying to get a fish. <laughs> Whew. All right, just spent a couple hours fishing. Two bites. Absolutely skunked, no fish, kind of surprising. So as of now, I'm going hungry for dinner. I was really hoping to get some bluegill I could fry up, but zero luck. I might try a couple other spots, but we'll see. I might just have to go find, try to figure out something I can eat for dinner tonight. But I think that's gonna about wrap this up for this video, guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, just an absolutely great spot, great night, and made a really delicious dinner last night. And yeah, not finished, gonna be spending up another day up here. So hopefully another video will be coming in the next week after this video too up here. So weather's taking a bad, nasty turn though. It's gonna, temperature's gonna plummet. We're about to get some crazy, it looks like we're gonna get a rainstorm and maybe even some snow tonight. So it's gonna be a lot more interesting in the next video, I'm sure. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Lots more to come. Stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next adventure.